that type of stuff. But for me, I just live in the moment. Like I do what I do. Like I wouldn't be, for me, all I want to do is work and keep working and keep improving. I wouldn't um, be here if it wasn't for that. So you can't sit and just think about it and dwell on it too much because, you know, it'll, it, it can go and go just like that, you know. So I'm connected to them through boxing. Now, of course, they know me and it's different now, but I, uh, initially I got connected through them through boxing because I'm a good fighter, basically, you know. That's what now, and my daddy always tell me, everything will come into place. Just keep working, keep training, keep working. And it's a lot of, of course, you know, you've been around the business. It's a lot of, a lot of distractions. Um, once you get higher and higher and higher, it's a lot of distractions. Um, the, the main thing, you just gotta keep focus and, keep working because it's it could be i mean the, the distractions is fucking crazy like you can get distracted so so bad so now i'm putting people like i'm putting close people in place to handle my distractions for me do this for me do that for me do this because it's just like all i want to focus on is, is boxing that's it that's all i want to focus on but once you start getting to my level it's so many other things that you got to worry about so many other things that you got to focus on and it's hard, so you gotta put people in place. You gotta have a team to put in place to like, you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. You know, like now, I can't even focus on just, you know, just simple things, little, 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 small stuff. It's just like, I don't have time for that, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just how it is, but yeah, it's crazy. Like, like with Pete, like, you don't know who gonna be here. The other day, I walked up and um, Adam Sandler was sitting right there. Oh, we saw that picture. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, yeah. Like, he was sitting there. You walk up, Michael B. Jordan is here. Is there anyone that, out of all the people, you were starstruck? You're like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm not starstruck by nobody. It's a crazy thing. I didn't, I mean, really? Okay. Only, I mean, somebody like probably um, who I was not starstruck, but I was like, damn, that's him. It's like Sugar Ray Leonard. Right? Yeah. That's like, that's, because actors in, 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 I know a lot of, like Lil Wayne is my favorite rapper, and I know Lil Wayne and stuff like that. You know? So, being around him, you know, like Starstruck and stuff, but to, to see somebody in your sport, because, you, like, we were just talking about downstairs boxing, it's so dangerous. And to see somebody that's a legend in your sport, mm -hmm. that's somebody like Marvin Hagler, like I saw Mar Pernell Whitaker, I met Pernell. Oh, oh yes, sir. I remember I was talking to hearing you. I, yeah, it yeah. was just like, you meet somebody like that, like, damn, that's fucking sweet D. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, Marvin Hag, like, damn, it's Sugar Ray Leonard, like, that's fucking Sugar Ray. And I talked to Sugar Ray and stuff like that. Like, that's, you know, like, for me, that's like, I like athletes and stuff like that. I probably, if I probably be starstruck the most, somebody that I probably never meet is Muhammad Ali. I couldn't never meet him. Um, I never met him, and probably, of course, I won't meet him until the afterlife or whatever. But somebody like him, the, like the legends of my sport, you know, Ray Robinson, Harry Armstrong, um, you know, those type of people. But for my favorite fighters, like um, Mike Tyson and Roberto Duran. So I never met them yet either. So you saw them at Mike Tyson. Oh, Tyson. Yeah, have you seen the um, I Am Duran? Uh, I, yeah. I know the, the documentary. The document. I, I haven't seen it. Yet. It's good. Mm -hmm. I heard, I heard They're very good. I seen it so somebody like that, that's like my favorite fighters. But somebody that's like probably as 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 far as fighter wise between Marvin Hagler and Sugar Ray I was like, damn, that's the like I had to get a picture like that's fucking Sugar Ray You know, we went to the I, I just you know I just recently met him mm -hmm. in New York at the Boxing Writers Awards. And it was just like, I had to get a picture of Sugar Man. You know, mm -hmm. that's the fucking You're sugar. fanning out. Yeah, it's like, that's the fucking Sugar Man, you know. You know. What'd you say then when you first came up to him? I just said, I'm having a geeking out, boxing geek moment right now. I yeah. said that to him. What did you say to him? Well, somebody introduced me. Okay. So, so, yeah, somebody actually introduced me. And um, they told him who I was. And he gave me a big hug. Oh, man, congratulations. He gave me a big hug and all that stuff. He kept taking pictures with me and stuff. So it was cool. We took a, we took a picture first before we went to the wars. And then, um, I don't know if you know, Thomas Hawks, the boxing writer. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he called Sugar. He called um, Ray O. And then we took another picture for Thomas Hawks. And he told him who I was and stuff. He gave his email. And, you know, we've been, like, we've kind of been talking and stuff. So it's just like, crazy to, you know, like, being in that circle gets involved. People like Sugar Ray and you know even Thomas Hawks and people like um, these Donald are the greats. Ray. Yeah, the greats. These you know, are the Donald, greats. Donald McRae. I'm reading his books right now. You know, just to uh, and I'm I'm talking to these people, emailing and calling and talking to them and stuff. So that's like it's being in that circle. Mm -hmm. it's, of course, it's like, it's I can't wait to read your book. 
Because I know you read a lot of books right now. I'm um, I'm I'm gonna work on one, um, but I don't want to do one like nobody else did before. I want to do something way way different, like way 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 different. Well, you know, I saw I was looking at your website yesterday, and I really like your letter to the world. You think you're asking your city and you're thanking your city to let them, for you to be their hero and just trust you and support you um, in good and bad. And I was like, this is this is amazing because New Orleans, you had to leave because of Hurricane Katrina. You had to move to Houston. Your family was separated and um, you're fighting out of um, New Orleans. So I think it was such a nice tribute to, to, to your city. Get me a little teary-eyed. Right here. And remember, it's fight night, bitches!